Okay, this is the new aquaponic setup. That is the little air compressor. Taking power from there is linked back to an inverter point. This is an inlet for air to go into the air compressor. This is the outlet. It's rated for 40 watts, but sometimes it takes between 25 to 30 watts for operation. This is a hose that sends the power we need to run this system over there. So let's follow the hose down to the air pump which gives us our water over there. And that's the aquarium. So let me back up a little. Alright, so this is the, the system. It's about a um, hundred and ten gallons. So more than 400 liters of water is a uh, eight millimeter thickness and this is a two inch pipe coming out from the bottom going this way sending it that way to that point where we have the hose to inject air and get that so that's it again on this side and this is a check valve 50 mm check valve air goes in here goes into this pipe comes here pops up so you can even hear the sound the water and air mixing hello goose Hi. Excellent. So it pops up like this. And we get that, that flow rate. This is just uh, a silencer. So I won't hear that goggling sound. Okay. Just put a uh, little holes. And that's it. So these are dry nice. 20 mm to 25 mm. And this is our bell siphon, <laughs> locally made material. This is a 20 mm standpipe right in there. That pipe is 20 mm. Yeah. So ideally, it's a flood and drain system. When the water gets to that level of that pipe, it floods and it's drained back here. You see that in a minute. So we're still going to conduct these guys. C32. Yep. We're going to take them to their new home, which will be that part. It's going to be right here, plumbed back to this two-inch pipe, so that when this bed gets through, it's going to discharge right into this part and send it back home from the bottom. This grow bed will likely be here or on that side so we're yet to determine where it's going to be so it takes anywhere between seven minutes for this guy to trigger and it's about halfway so i'm going to pause the video when the cycling starts and play it back so it's pretty neat system 110 gallon fish tank aquarium. We want it to cycle for a couple of days. We'll clean up the bottom, top of the water, and then we we'll add some tilapia and catfish. So you should take about 30 tilapia or catfish to grow them to about 1 kg. That's the project. That's the whole idea of this whole project. And we're going to plant cabbage, lettuce. Um, aloe vera you name them lots of vegetable in this system hello duck duck so this provides shade for the fish tank and partial shade for the lettuce yeah mm -hmm. okay the siphon is about to start yep so the water 
is going down faster than it's coming in. Okay. And that's it. It's returning back home. Home sweet home. So, in a few days, I'm going to update this channel. We're going to have catfish in here, swimming here and there. And um, we're going to have our sea turtle over here doing their thing. So that's the plan. This is measured uh, for 320 gallons, 20 liters per hour. That's the flow rate you're looking at. We're going to make some minor modifications to increase the flow rate by shortening the height. It's about four feet. We'll remove two feet out of it. What am I saying? Four inches. We'll remove two inches out of it and see if we can send it up to 350 liters per hour. So there you go very unique system this should grow a lot of uh, vegetable for your home so you and your family eat fresh vegetable and fresh fish so how cool can that be you can even eat the turtle if you like haha <laughs> is it to make a for real soup or whatever so we'll see you later that's the siphon uh, let's wait for the siphon to stop Okay. She should stop any minute from now. Water level is really gone low. So we see coming in. Yep. And um, she wants to break taking air and stop. Slowing down. So the, the whole idea is to keep electricity as far as possible from this system because we're dealing with kids. When you have some massive pump in here, it's a bad joke. So that's why we're using air to lift this water. And um, this pipe is 25 mm diameter. Whatever leaf that goes into this inlet, a little stone, poop, whatever, will be shoot out from here. And uh, I've been using this system for about a year now, I haven't cleaned anything. If you try it out with a submersible pump, you're going to be in trouble. So you can see the water is slowing down, it's about to stop, it's taking in a lot of air. And uh, we're going to change the pump in a little bit by the time this also, the second group comes here. And um, but the whole idea is put the water in the grow bed, you know, there's a flood and drain, slow fill, fast drain. Yep, so and that, sh that sh goes, it's about to suck you there. And the side going up. it's broken. So we'll change out this water in about 48 hours, let it wash out or the rubbish in the system between the aquarium for the first time probably salt and water no detergent no pesticide no chemicals no herbicide no finger sides and all the other sides so we'll keep you updated see you in a few days